Let's consider the division of sine into numbers. So let's divide minus 12 by minus 3. So first of all, remember that a divided by b can be read as the fraction a over b. So let's rewrite. We also know that negative a is the same as a times negative 1. So let's factor. And because we have a common factor in numerator and denominator, we can remove that common factor. And we can go further. We can try and factor 12 and 3. So again, remember, a factor only matters if it's a common factor. And since 3 is prime, we only really care if 12 can be rewritten as 3 times something. And it can be. 12 is 3 times 4. We'll remove our common factors and have our final answer, 4. How about 8 divided by negative 2? Well, again, we can rewrite this as 8 over negative 2. I can write negative 2 as 2 times negative 1. 2 is a factor of 8, that's 2 times 4. We can remove our common factors. Now what can we do about this negative 1? To take care of that, we'll employ something that's a little bit of a trick, but it centers around the idea that the additive inverse of the additive inverse of a is a itself. And what that means is that we can write 4 as negative negative 4. But now it's an additive inverse, so I can rewrite an additive inverse as number times negative 1. And now I have a common factor of negative 1 in numerator and denominator. So we can remove it. And at this point, the parentheses aren't really doing anything for us, so we'll just drop them. And we get our final answer of negative 4. So let's take stock. We found that negative 12 divided by negative 3 is 4, and 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. And again, we'll compare to the same operations applied to the same numbers, just without the signs. 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. And if we look at how the signs are distributed, this suggests the following result. For real numbers, a divided by b has a value equal to the quotient of the absolute values. If a and b have the same sign, the quotient will be positive, while if a and b have opposite signs, the quotient will be negative. So if I wanted to divide negative 18 by 3, we find the quotient of the absolute values, 18 divided by 3. And since our dividend and divisor, minus 18 and 3, have opposite signs, the quotient is going to be negative.